the next main topic, Daily Bugle headline topic two, is the Hong Kong figure hall. Oh yes. Right, this is a big pile here. You can you can't see this is part of it here, this box here. I bought a lot of stuff. So somehow people really liked the Hong Kong shopping video. Thank you so much for all the support on that video. Ryan and I were walking around Hong Kong carrying the gimbal, talking to the camera in public is always awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan was. was a real trooper that day. We went to every single store all in one day and we filmed as much as we possibly could. It was so fun. And I'm so glad people enjoyed that video because we enjoyed making it a lot. It was a long day. While we were going, <laughs> we picked up stuff. And also stuff that I saw, I came back the following days and I picked them up just because we couldn't carry everything. So we'll start off small and it will get bigger, I, I guess. Yeah, why not? Uh, so, small to large. Unassuming little box. The head sculpt, of course. Hong Kong, great for custom head sculpts. Some people are going to like this. A lot of people probably won't. It's Tom Cruise. It's an older version of Tom Cruise. I'm planning on using this for a Maverick custom. Ooh, Perhaps. that's actually not bad. It's not bad. Let's do this. There we go. I've minimized Ooh. you, Will. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's all good, bro. Tom Cruise takes precedent. <laughs> <laughs> this is, got, is part of something else that's later on in the hall. You'll see. It's going to be a I call. feel like I'm reacting to your video, dude. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I love your quarter. reaction videos, Will. Thank so now you, bro. I Thank get you. to uh, have yeah. a line. I'm in the quarter yeah. reacting to your This is great. I love this. Exactly. Uh, ooh, this is a good one. Okay. I saw this at... Um, I'll tell you the prices of things that have prices on them. If I have forgotten, <laughs> then I have forgotten. Uh, this one was 550 Hong Kong dollars, not freedom dollars, not American dollars, mm. not Australian dollars, Hong Kong dollars. You'll have to translate that. Uh, this is a outfit set, but it also includes a head sculpt for Weapon X for Wolverine. Uh, it's made by a company called Super Duck, and I actually have something else coming from them soon. This was the thing that I picked up at Toys Beat, which is the physical location of TNS figures. I covered their physical location in the Hong Kong video. So if you want to see what TNS figures looks like in person, check out the figure haul video you will see their actual store location. It's a real place you can go to. It's in the same building as Secret Base, surprisingly. Uh, to go along with that Wolverine, I did get a Fison body. You do need a Fison body for it. And the one I decided to go with is the M30. So M30 Fison body for Wolverine. Don't need to say any more about that. It's not really. Body is not that exciting. <laughs> I have another body here. This is for something else later in the hall. It's a gang hood, teenage, Asian muscular body. It's a very, very particular build. A lot of people use this for Tom Holland Spidey because it's a muscular teenager. You can use it for that. I'm using it for something else. I'm using it for something else. Mm. This one I haven't put together yet, which is a darn shame. It's the third party Jessica Jones. One of the only two figures, there's one more, that I need to complete my defenders. So I have the head sculpt, I have the figure. I'm deciding whether or not to do a review on this. The only issue is that there is no box. It comes like this. <laughs> so the unboxing probably wouldn't be uh, amazing. <laughs> as exciting, right. right. Not as exciting. So that's why I haven't done that one. This one is also... Not that exciting. It's a stand. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's pretty cool, it's, though. I like that. I love this orangish hue to the logo. So as soon as I saw this, it's for Bruce Wayne. So I'm going to use this for either the Hot Toys Keeping Bruce Wayne or a different one. It's the 89 logo. Beautiful, vibrant color to it. Bruce Wayne on the front. It's a, it's a, it's a display. It's a simple one. Yeah, I like We're that. We're getting, getting to the big stuff. We're getting there. <laughs> By art. I never reviewed this. And I was kicking myself. This is the Hella head sculpt. Uh, it's the rooted hair one. So if you don't like the helmet or you want to mix it up, you can do that. You can switch it to this head sculpt. I've actually not seen it after I purchased it because it was on display. It's pretty good. It's not it's terrible. Not, no. It's not great. It is Kate Blanchett. And the hair is nice. It's from very straight rooted hair. So stay tuned. 
I will do some kind of video on that. I'm thinking about maybe if for those of you who watch the Fwoosh, I'm thinking about maybe doing like a play day style video where he shows all the stuff that he's been sent, all the custom stuff, all the smaller scale stuff, all the stuff that uh, doesn't necessarily need a full review all of its own. I'm struggling to find places to put this stuff as I'm bringing <laughs> them from this side to this side. Uh, this one, speaking of defenders, this is the only other defender I need. I used to have the Vimmel Luke Cage, and I'm so sad that I got rid of that. I love that figure. I don't know why. I'm a moron. I don't know why I got rid of that. I needed a Luke Cage. As soon as I saw this, Ryan can attest to this. I saw this in a store. I was like, ooh, I need him. This is Black Steel. This is Luke Cage by Toys Works, also known as Toys Era. Uh, I will review this. Let me know if you're all excited to see some Defenders reviews. I love the Defenders. The show, which some people don't necessarily love, and also just the characters in general. These Game of Thrones figures, Ooh. we all know I've been on a big Game of Thrones kick recently. These Game of Thrones figures were a steal in Hong Kong. I guess Game of Thrones is not that popular. Torment on eBay, because I was wanting to buy one. I sold mine again. I'm an idiot. He's going for a lot, and I didn't want to pay a lot for a Torment, which I already had. Luckily, I didn't. In Hong Kong, this guy was like 100 Australian dollars from the official Hot Toys store. I bought this from Hot Toys. So they had this for next to nothing. $100. And this is a really, really good figure. This is one of their best. Yep. So happy with Torment. More Game of Thrones. Who would have thought? I also didn't mention in my Hong Kong shopping video, Carousel. If you're in Hong Kong and you're looking for pre-owned figures or new ones as well, this one was brand new, try Carousel. Stuff that you can't find in stores, you can find on Carousel and also maybe the people who are selling them on Carousel, it's like uh, Makari for America. They may have a store. So the guy with Jon Snow, the season eight version, he... We messaged him at like 9 p.m. at night. He's like, yeah, I have a store. It's also just around the corner from your hotel. And I'm open till 11 p.m. So that exact night, we went out on the streets. <laughs> Ryan was, went downstairs, walked five to ten minutes, and we had a season eight Jon Snow for way less than retail. Nice. That's Hong Kong. So <laughs> it's one of the best parts about being in Hong Kong is figures are so accessible. Mm. Damn, bro. Next, Sansa, season eight, season eight version, yes. So how Stark is coming along quite well. Mm. Apparently, 3-0 are going to make Rob. They've announced it. So we are going to get a Rob Stark. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good. Sansa was uh, relatively inexpensive as well. 1,040 Hong Kong dollars. Someone needs to do the translation for me on that. <laughs> uh, 1,040. So, I think that's under 200. 132 US dollars. There you go. Is that reasonable? I think that's, that's reasonable. very reasonable. Yeah. Very reasonable. Uh, next up, we have Game of Thrones again. <laughs> Sir Jorah Bormont. This one I also got from the Hot Toys official store. It's called uh, Toy Hunters. Toys, Toy Hunters. Yes. They're the store that you go to if you live in Hong Kong and you want import stuff. Sideshow, for example, does not sell to Hong Kong. You can't just go to sideshow.com and order stuff. Licensing and region restrictions. So if you want Sideshow, you want 3-0. Well, you can order from 3-0, I think, because they're in Hong Kong. <laughs> you go to Toy Hunters and you can get this stuff. Relatively, relatively inexpensive. Sir Friendzone, says Jesse. <laughs> yep, yes, that's what he they call was Friendzone. Sir Friendzone. He was significantly older, though, than Danny. Speaking yeah. of Danny... Oh, oh, you yes. did it. Wow. I got the white outfit version and it's the deluxe. This was another Makari purchase. Lovely lady met us at the train station of all places. Ryan took us to the wrong train station at first. <laughs> and he was mentioning her. He's like, Where the hell are you? Like, and she's like, You're at this station, right? He was like, uh, We need to go to a different station. I was like, Oh, right. no. <laughs> So we met this lovely lady and she was like, ah, yeah, I've got more Game of Thrones stuff if you're interested. And I was like, all right, let me know. But I already had them all. So I 
<laughs> didn't. Anyway, this is the white outfit version of Danny, which will potentially replace the blue outfit version of Danny in my display. If it is better, I plan to review all of these at That's some the point, point, which is why I haven't reviewed them. <laughs> which is why I haven't opened them. I really wish that I could just open them and put them in the display. So that's why they're all sitting here. It's a little one. It's a little breezy Ooh. room. This is not Game of Thrones. <laughs> Thinking, wow, that's a small Game of Thrones figure. That's teeny. Uh, this is part of their MDLX line. This is Cliff Jumper. Hmm. Usually just a red repaint of Bumblebee, and he is with a different head sculpt. <laughs> so <laughs> stay tuned for my Cliff Jumper review. I love Transformers. Rise of the Beasts has me worried a little. So we'll see. Oh no, this one's not good. Uh, so we saw Creed 3. I saw it just before I got to Hong Kong. And then again, Ryan had never seen any of the Creed movies. He didn't care. He wanted to see Kang versus Killmonger. So we went and saw Creed 3. Then immediately, I knew I needed to have this. This is the Cyber X. It's the only 1-6 scale uh, Adonis Creed figure out there. Michael B. Jordan. Head sculpt is good. Accessories are good. Outfit is good. Body is terrible. This is the worst body I think I have ever seen on any figure ever. It's really, <laughs> really? really bad. It's glossy. It's waxy. His head is tiny. His body is huge. The proportions are all over the place. I will be getting a new body for this, although I'm waiting for the iconic studio's Muhammad Ali. That is the body I'm going to use for my Adonis Creed. So I'll pick up two of him. And I'll have some boxing legends. I'll have Rocky. I'll have Muhammad Ali. And I'll have Adonis Creed and Apollo Creed. Oh, God. Star Race. Hopefully it's good. We just... Oh, I don't even know why I'm talking about them at this point. Yeah. Okay. Will told me to get this one. Game of Thrones. Yeah. I just realized that there's a blue tint. It's the Night King, baby. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm so excited about this one. I cannot wait to put the Night King in the display. I don't know why I have waited. Do I need more white <laughs> he's actually one of, this? Just he's this one of three zeros better ones, Justin, because it's not really like a likeness, you know? It's, yeah. No, it doesn't have to be as perfect. There's a creepiness to it. This yeah. one has a story to it. So oh. Rob, with his X-Men obsession recently, he has infected me. And now I am also starting to become obsessed with X-Men. This looks like a comic X-Men figure. It isn't. It's based off X-Men 2. This is Cyclops. So this is the original look for Cyclops to go... Oh, we may as well have a quick look. To go along with the uh, X-Men 3 Wolverine from The Last Stand from Hot Toys. And more third-party X-Men figures. Like I said, I've been infected. I have the X-Men bug. I grew up watching X-Men. I have very fond memories of my dad taking me to see those films. We both still love them to this day, especially X-Men 1. Seeing that film for the first time, crazy. So this is Cyclops. He's actually really good i think yeah it's not bad it's that leather though i'd be worried well this is quite old this figure so i was oh. worried about the pleather as well so i said to the store people what the hell am i going to do with the pleather if it flakes and they said it's fine we have a few of them uh what we will do once you have paid so i was getting it either way once you have paid then we'll open it up if it's flaking we'll open another one we'll open another one we'll open as many as we need to until you're happy with it I thought that was really kind of reasonable. It's, that was. You know, if they were all flaking, then I couldn't really do anything about it. At least they gave me the choice, like, pick of the litter. Yeah. So I appreciated that. That was from Figure Station at Richmond Arcade, if you're wondering. Great customer service there. They've had any issues with them. How much was Night King, Justin says? I'm not sure. I don't remember. That one did not have a price tag on it. But none of those figures were more than, like, 200 Australian dollars. Cheap as chips. They were probably Cyborg. excited, bro, that you came through and bought all the Game of Thrones figures. They couldn't sell. It was so <laughs> they were like, great. Yes. Yeah, I know. It's solvable. We've sold every single one of these darn things that nobody wanted. Yep. Uh, so the laser eye was my first uh, third party X Men original trilogy figure that I picked up. And I have Storm coming from Figure Masters, and I've asked Ryan if he could potentially pick me up Magneto. I saw it in a store and I didn't pick it up. However, he's coming to Australia. So when he gets here, he'll yeah, bring a few things that I missed out on picking up the first time. I told you that Tom Cruise head sculpt would 
come into play later Ooh. on. This is Maverick. This is a young Maverick by Redmond Toys. The hair sculpt is bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Uh, the neck is so... I'll show you. The neck is so long. I have no... How do you even open this thing? Okay. The neck just goes on forever. The accessories, though? Ooh. Look at this base. Ooh. ooh. Beautiful. He's got the little license to fly. It says Top Gun on it. Mm-hmm. Ooh. He's got the leather jacket with all of the pouches you have to apply yourself. <laughs> oh, God. So, Ooh. this is what we're talking about. Wow. Uh, mm. How did that pass inspection? <laughs> yeah, there's the body down here. That's where the head sculpt should be down there. Also, the likeness is just not Tom Cruise, right. necessarily. Mm. I love the shoes. They are accurate. He wore those banging shoes. Uh, so that head sculpt I'm going to use on this figure to make an older version of Maverick. Stay tuned. I've said that already about a few things. It's another thing that you need to stay tuned for. How much was this, I hear you ask? This was 948 Hong Kong dollars. Did I overpay? Maybe. <laughs> It'll be worth it in the end, dude. Ooh. Everyone's favorite, least favorite character, King Joffrey. Joffrey was so cheap. So <laughs> I'm sure cheap. he was. This is the deluxe version too. I think this one is the one that comes with the crossbow. It's actually good, this figure. Surprisingly, I thought it would be terrible because young people's faces, they are hard to capture. No, this is surprisingly impressive. It's got swappable hair pieces for the crown and no crown. And like I said, it's the deluxe version. And the tailoring is impressive. It just looks regal. He's got the red, you know, the sash and everything. People do not like Joffrey. I don't like Joffrey. You need villains. I have the Night King. I now have Joffrey. There you go. I mentioned this earlier. Premium Toys, the hero. Homelander. Five head sculpts. Five. That's a lot. It's a lot of freaking heads. The most <laughs> I think ever included with any figure that I'm. It's got to be some of, kind of record ever. Yeah. Five. Five. We're almost there. If you think the hall is being drawn out too long, this is a weird one. This is by a company called Jiao Toys. Jiao <laughs> Toys. Jiao Toys. It's a, It's clearly Spider Man of some kind. Bet you're wondering what kind of Spider-Man. Well, I'll show you. Oh, God. It's Peter Parker from Spider-Man No Way Home. It's specifically the version from the bridge scene. He's wearing his suit. It does need to be really wrinkled. It was very wrinkled in the movie because he was wearing it under the Iron Spider suit. The head sculpt's actually pretty good. It's a recast of the Hot Toys one, I believe. <laughs> yep. It's not bad. Uh, he comes with an actual No Way Home branded display base. That's always nice. Says, oh god, his foot has come off. I didn't realize. It says Spider-Man No Way Home on it. That way. It doesn't look like it's peeling. I don't love that. Uh, he comes with the bag, someone's handbag, and he comes with the magical gauntlet web shooter thing. So if you need this, this guy's relatively inexpensive. If you're looking for this piece and you don't have it, you might want to pick up the Jow Toys Peter Parker, and then you will have it. Maybe. That's how it works, I guess. Yeah, I'd say so. Dude, that that's a big haul right there. And it's not no, even no, no, no. One more, one more, one more. <laughs> the biggest one, the best one I've saved for last. You, you don't even know what this is. I never I didn't even tell you. Oh, it's a big box. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yes. DX the Hot Toys Opal. Bruce Lee. Wow. Hot Toys Bruce Lee. This box is a monster. It's huge. Yeah, it looks like it. From Enter the Dragon. I saw Enter the Dude. Dragon. I've seen all the Ip Man films now. I'm obsessed with Kung Fu movies. Uh, Bruce Lee. Of course, we know, we know who the freak Bruce Lee is. He's a badass. Yep. Had to have this. It's an iconic figure. And it was very, very, very reasonably priced. 
vary. This was on carousel as well. So message the seller. Yep, no problem. Still had it in stock. Picked it up. Ryan grabbed it for me, actually. And the rest is history. Now it's here. So this body, that's why I picked up this second body. He comes with multiple outfits and two head sculpts. Extra shoes, extra hands. You can make two different Bruce Lees. That's a recast of the Hot Toys Bruce Lee body. So it's his exact body. The proportions are right. Now I'm going to be able to display two versions of Bruce Lee. One with the battle damage, the scratches from when he fought Han, and one without. That is why I did that. And Big Dog Pound says, wow, you can pose him with Shang-Chi. Heck yeah, I can. And I can pose him with Ip Man. I may or may not have ordered two Ip Man figures. Maybe. Ooh, two. I love Donnie Yen. I can't help it. That, those yeah. Ip Man movies. Will, have you seen them? No, I've only seen clips oh. of them, but I really want yeah. to watch them. Dude, it's incredible from what I've seen. So I don't know why I haven't sat down and watched those. I've heard great things. Will, they are so good. The third <laughs> is my favorite one. The third okay. is my favorite one. The fourth one, the, the fourth one, I love Bruce Lee in the fourth one. If you didn't know, Ip Man is a real guy. He's a, like, he's a real, he, it, Donnie Yen is playing a real guy. And he trained Bruce Lee. So they give you that at the end of each movie. They tell you, you know, he went on to start his Kung Fu school, blah, blah. And they show photos of the real Ip Man. So he trained Bruce Lee. So you get to see him. Bruce Lee in the fourth movie and oh my word he kicks ass it's not him actually it's someone else playing Bruce Lee of course unfortunately he's no longer with us so Will yes watch those movies you're going to love them and then you might yes. pick up a Donnie Yen it it could happen and to Bay, and to Bay have made some they have made multiple at this <laughs> point <laughs> so that's my haul that yeah. is my haul thank you everyone for sticking with me throughout the haul it's I know we weren't quick with that one. I apologize. I planned on being a little bit quicker. Will, do you you want to rate the haul? I'd say that's a pretty good haul, Justin. That was a lot of Game of Thrones stuff, which I'm very excited about. So I'll give the haul. I would give it a nine, but it's down to an eight because of that Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> that Tom Cruise, that body, bro. You get subtracted yeah. a point on that one. Even though you got a I separate know. head sculpt. I know. Yeah, that one is minus one, minus one. I but know, yeah, man, I love the Game of Thrones stuff. I'm considering picking up that Jamie again myself. I know you already have him, but... Oh, it's so good. Can you see yeah. him? He's in the back there. He's, yeah. You can't see him. He's tiny. He's really... He's really with <laughs> he's Brienne. Back. and I put him in the love triangle. See, there's Brienne. Oh, that is a I've love triangle. Torment. Nice. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, a little love triangle. It's like and a wish to nearby. love triangle. It's a little creepy, you know. Like, Tormund like, wish he was where? in that love triangle, but <laughs> never quite worked out oh for him my god way. Tormund made me laugh seriously he was so good like when he's yeah. like i have a beauty waiting for me <laughs> <Do you? laughs> yeah right he wishes bro. oh my god he wishes but oh wow so unfortunately that is what i picked up in hong kong i had picked up so much i had to buy a second suitcase and i had to upgrade my luggage requirements with Qantas so i could bring back more figures i bought a suitcase at the market filled that bad boy at the brim you saw the size of dxo four box <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think. Oh, because I was going to ask. I was like, how did you get all that back? Yeah, because there's no way I would be able to get that back in my suitcase. Yeah, no way. <laughs> I took no it way. all with me. Two suitcases. I put all my clothes in the carry on, put all my figures in the suitcases. So I was, yeah, I was back in suitcases for That's sure. That's spoken like sure. a true collector right there. Go to Hong Kong, everyone, if you can and you're planning on a trip. Don't go to Niagara Falls or, you know, somewhere chill. Go to Hong Kong, buy some figures. That's yeah. what you really want to do. And you're going to love it. And you're going to have a great time. 